Hello and welcome to Hospital Time. Today I'm going to be running through what I got for Christmas because uh, loads of you like this video. It is actually Christmas Day today. Um, yeah, it's just um, most mo mostly everything. I got quite a lot this year. I wasn't expecting a lot, but I got quite a lot. Um, we're going to start with this t shirt. That's Harry Potter t shirt. It says, um, after all this time, underneath and then always, and it's black. I got that from my friend Rachel, uh, who has been on the channel, along with these uh, Despicable Me unicorn slippers that are really nice. So I've been wearing those. From my Nana, I got a really nice pair of like grey walking trousers. Uh, they have a belt on there. Brace, yeah. That's quite nice. They're really nice. I needed a new pair. Then from my friend Sophie, I got a Harry Potter jumper. It's just a maroon hoodie and it has the Harry Potter glasses and scar and it's big and baggy and it's actually really nice. So that's that. Then from uh, Jamie, my boyfriend, I got a really nice uh, mountain warehouse walking fleece in this lovely shade of blue and it's really soft, it's a bit banky, I need to put it in the wash, I've had it a couple of weeks now and it really needs to go in the wash. Then from my great auntie and great uncle in New Zealand, I got a Merl hair um, cheap wool walking t-shirt in a shade of blue that I really like and a pair of Merl hair gloves which are quite nice actually. They are red and grey. From my parents, who I did pick it out, is a uh, regatta outdoor gear walking hoodie, but it's not going to be a walking hoodie. It's just grey and it's got a really big hood and the sort of, sort of scarfy neck with the look. It's really nice. It's got a straight through pocket. And there's also an inside pocket, which is something I've never seen in a hoodie before. Um, then from my great auntie who lives there, I got Tales of Birdle, uh, Beedle the Bard by J.K. Rowling, because um, I love Harry Potter. Got to go in the Harry Potter collection. Um, I also got Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Naveen. That looks really good. And... How Hard Can Love Be by Holly Bird Vaughan. And I also love all of her books. Um, I, uh, from my parents, I also got a few candles. So this is a uh, Yankee Candle glass candle holder and it goes from orange to white. And it's all like broken fragments of glass. That's really nice. And in it came a passion fruit martini Yankee candle. That smells really good. That'll have to go in my candle collection. I also, uh, if you can't tell, I love camper vans. I also got a little camper van candle that's orange. And I'm pretty sure it's very fragranceless, but it'll be nice to put candles in after as well. Um, from my friend slash, not really my brother, but my brother, I got a camper van lighter. That is really nice. I like fire. This is cool. So yeah, that's what I got from him, and it's really nice. So I'm a, I'm a scout, uh, hence all the walking gear. Um, so that would be really helpful because I don't have a lighter. Next, from my friend Callum, uh, who shares my love for Harry Potter, I got this mug that says, "If you don't get my Harry Potter references, there is something seriously wrong with you." And I like that. It's got a uh, snitch and lighting bolts and stars and the um, Deathly Hallows sign. I also got from my grandma um, this toy camper van. So I love camper vans. It's sort of orangey red. And um, it's called a school bus. And it's it was a joke gift, but it moves itself around. I'll get I'll get a video to insert. But it makes this noise. Yeah, and it moves around, and um, when it bangs into something, it turns, and 
Strangest direction. And it's for three plus. It's a it's a children's toy, but it's great. Great fun to play with. It's just got a little uh motor in it and stuff. I had to walk down to the shop to get um batteries for it. Um, again from my parents I got Russell Howard Live because I love Russell Howard and I'm going to keep this and watch it with Jamie when he comes over. Um, I also got some really nice pyjamas. So last year I got some pyjamas from Tesco's from my grandma and I really liked them. So my parents bought me a pair this year. So this is a, uh, it, does, it looks black on camera because it's dark in here but it's a navy blue three quarter length, uh, really soft sort of cotton t-shirt that go with these red, blue and white pyjama bottoms that are really nice and really soft. Uh, I got a camper van calendar from a family friend. I also got a long horse calendar but it's hanging up with my where my calendar is meant to be and this one's going to go up in the shed. It's got lots of good photos in it. I also got um, a few little bits in my stocking, like from my godmother, I got some lip balms that are, are body shop lip balms, they're really nice. And there's like five or six of them. And I also got a necklace from my grandma that's in my stocking. <laughs> I got these, um, so I have a pair of purp a purple pair of these. Uh, I remember it later because they're kids and I got them for my like my 14th birthday and I'm nearly 16 so I've nearly had them three, uh, two years um, so I got a new pair the exact same shoes I also have these shoes in black as my school shoes because on my knees I wear trainers to school um, and they're really nice they're sort of uh, loads of different shades of blue with a blue K on the side and dark blue laces and they're called Carrymore uh, Duma Run. Pretty sure. I can't remember. Oh, they're the Duma, t Duma 2s for Caramel Run. And they're really lightweight running trainers. Not that I run, it's just I like uh, having good, sturdy, lightweight trainers. Uh, I also got some socks, which were adorable from my Nana. And they have cats on them. Swartz through cats. These ones have got glasses on them. They're just, they were just a pack of socks. I'm pretty sure they were Jessica socks, but they were, they look really nice, and I love cats. So, uh, I also got a little Nivea mini set, which has got moisturizer, roll-on, um, and like lip balm and stuff in it. And uh, I also got for my grandma. Ooh. A stationery set for my GCSEs and stuff. Um, pretty sure my cousin got the same thing in blue, uh, but it's got like a cat. It's got notebooks and pens and folders in it, that sort of stuff, which is more of a essential gift than anything else. Um, that's pretty much it. I got a lot of food, uh, and from my sister, I got a Chromecast, which is uh, a thing you plug into the TV, and it allows you to um, screen show anything from your phone or your tablet straight onto the TV so it just connects, you have a little app and it connects and <coughs> sorry I'm a bit ill uh, but it's downstairs because I set it up earlier and it's for my shed because I have a summer house with an old TV in it so I got a, a Chromecast and a SCART to HDMI converter because that sounds very techy <laughs> um, but that's quite nice, I really like that and she also took me to Olympia which um, you saw, you will see in the future um, when that vlog gets edited. Um, the other thing I got was a saxophone stand, which is really nice. Uh, it's like uh, yellow. Um, I will insert a picture, or Jamie will insert a p picture when he edits. Here you go, you can see my sax is just behind me. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's so it sits, if you've never seen a sax stand sits like this and you can move this so it's for a tenor or an alto so you can move this um, and then these little things here <laughs> come out and you can screw in a clarinet stand or a soprano sax stand 
which is pretty cool. So I'm hoping to get one because it would be nice for when I'm home to have it all in one. But then I need, I have a separate clarinet stand um, for concerts and stuff. So, and it and it folds up, it has a little orange bag, a yellow bag with it as well. I didn't pick that up from the spare room. So the legs fold back and then this up here, they all have little buttons so it's very structurally secure and then that one folds up and then that falls down and it's like this big which I thought is pretty good um, and I started playing sax back in October and I've been needing a sax stand because it's really awkward having a saxophone in and out of the box because it's such a big instrument especially when I only take it to school once or twice a week so it's really nice to have this this is probably my favourite present um, mainly because it's it was very much needed um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who bought me presents this year I love everything um, and I didn't expect so much from my parents as well because I got this uh, which is technically my 16th birthday present so <laughs> I wasn't expecting much until like next Christmas um, and obviously as you get older your piles get less because you get more expensive presents like a saxophone and uh, saxophone stands um, yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, sorry I ran through it a bit quick it's just I'm not very well and I want to get it all put away and have a bath because it's Christmas um, and relax for the rest of the evening um, so thank you for watching and I hope you live happily ever after bye